In a world where digital security is as crucial as a fortified castle in medieval times, the role of a cybersecurity engineer has never been more vital. Did you know that by 2025, the global cost of cybercrime is expected to hit an astonishing $10.5 trillion annually? That's double the figure from just a few years ago. With each headline, the demand for skilled cybersecurity engineers skyrockets. And there's a 3.5 million unfulfilled cybersecurity jobs predicted globally by 2025. The average salary of a certified cybersecurity engineer in the United States is approximately $97,000 per year. And it's consistently one of the highest paying IT certifications. But how does one become a part of this elite force? Where do you start and what's the fastest route to not just enter but excel in this high stakes arena? And in this video, we will cover this. And before commencing, if you are an aspiring cybersecurity professional looking for online training and certification from prestigious universities and in collaboration with leading experts to enhance your credibility, then search no more. Simulans postgraduate program in cybersecurity from MIT University in collaboration with EC Council should be your right choice. This course is designed to accommodate a diverse range of learners and this course requires just a bachelor's degree with a 50% of average and no prior programming experience is required and one plus year of work experience is preferred. For more details, you can use the link in the description box and pinned comment. And if these are the types of videos you would like to watch, then hit the subscribe button, like and press on the bell icon to never miss on future content. So stay tuned with us until the end of this video and don't forget to register your opinion in the comment section below. Now let's explore the fastest way to become a cybersecurity engineer in 2024. So now let's get started with who is a cybersecurity engineer. So cybersecurity engineer is a professional who specializes in protecting computer and network systems from digital attacks. So these attacks can include hacking, breaches, viruses and various forms of cyber threats. So now we'll see the roles and responsibilities of a cybersecurity engineer. So first role and responsibility for a cybersecurity engineer is system protection that is implementing and managing security solutions to protected systems, networks and data. This includes firewalls, antivirus software and intrusion detection systems. And then comes threat assessment. So continuously monitoring and assessing the cybersecurity or the security of computer system and networks, identifying potential vulnerabilities that could be exploited by hackers. And then comes the incident response. So responding to and investigating cybersecurity breaches or any type of cybersecurity incident. This involves not only addressing the immediate threat, but also conducting post event analysis to prevent future incidents. And then comes security planning. So developing and implementing security policies and protocols. They ensure that an organization's data and infrastructure are protected against potential attacks. And then comes regular update and maintenance. So keeping systems updated and patched against known vulnerabilities, which is crucial in defending against rapidly evolving cyber threats. And then comes collaboration. So working with other IT professionals such as network administrators and software developers to ensure that security considerations are integrated into all facets of technology operations. And then comes education and training. So educating staff and users about good security practices like identifying phishing attempts and securing personal data. So these are the roles and responsibilities of a cybersecurity engineer. Now we'll see the essential skills needed to become a cybersecurity engineer. So certainly here's a list of essential skills and we'll start with the one that is strong understanding of networking. So cybersecurity engineers need to have a deep understanding of networking protocols, how data travels across networks and the vulnerabilities associated with different network configurations. And then comes programming and scripting. That is proficiency in programming languages like Python, C, C++ and scripting languages is crucial for writing custom exploits and tools. And then comes cybersecurity fundamentals. So a solid grasp of basic cybersecurity concepts, including threats, vulnerabilities, risk assessment, management, and security principles is fundamental. And then comes operating systems. So familiarity with various operating systems, including Windows, Linux, and Unix is essential for understanding their vulnerabilities and security configurations. And then comes web application and security. Knowledge of web technologies, web application vulnerabilities such as SQL injection, cross-site scripting and security best practices for web development. And then comes the penetration testing tools. So proficiency in tools like Metasploit, Nmap, Wireshark, Burpsuit and other penetration testing tools used to assess system vulnerabilities. 
and then comes cryptography that is understanding of encryption decryption cryptographic algorithms and their role in securing data and then comes wireless security so expertise in wireless network security including wi-fi encryption protocols and vulnerabilities and then comes security compliance and standards so knowledge of security standards and compliance regulations such as pci dss hipaa and gdpr and then comes incident response so being prepared to handle security incidents and breaches effectively including forensics and analysis and then comes social engineering awareness so understanding of social engineering tactics used by attackers to manipulate individuals into revealing confidential information and then comes the ethical mindset so a cyber security engineer must adhere to a strong code of ethics and prioritize responsible disclosure when vulnerabilities are found so these are the essential skills to become a cyber security engineer now we'll see how to become a cyber security engineer so the first step is build a strong foundation or you could have a bachelor's degree in cyber security so building a strong foundation is crucial in the journey to become a cyber security engineer so start with a deep understanding of computer science mastering the basics of hardware software and networks familiarize yourself with operating systems and their functionalities entry level certifications like comptia a plus and network plus are your stepping stones ensuring your grasp the core concepts of it a strong foundation forms the bedrock upon which you will build your ethical hacking skills and knowledge and then comes the next that is learn programming so learning programming is a gateway to unlocking endless possibilities in the digital world start by understanding the basics of coding logic and syntax explore languages like python known for its simplicity or javascript for web development practice regularly work on real projects and seek online tutorials and courses embrace problem solving and debugging and gradually you will master the art of programming that will open the doors to a world of software development and cyber security innovation and then comes understand cyber security basics so understanding cyber security basics is crucial for any aspiring cyber security engineer it involves comprehending the core principles of protecting digital systems and data key concepts include identifying threats vulnerabilities and the importance of risk management certification programs like comptia security plus can provide an entry point into this realm these basics form the foundation for ethical hacking enabling individuals to recognize and combat security weaknesses making the digital world safer and then comes the fourth step that is dive into ethical hacking so dive into ethical hacking is a critical step on the journey to becoming a skilled cyber security engineer so during this phase you will focus on honing your penetration testing skills and mastering the art of ethical hacking the certified ethical hacker certification will be your companion providing you with the knowledge and tools to identify vulnerabilities and secure systems you will explore real world scenarios test networks and learn to think like a hacker while maintaining ethical standards this stage prepares you to safeguard digital landscapes effectively and then comes continue learning so continuing learning in ethical hacking is essential the cyber security landscape evolves rapidly so staying up to date is a must explore advanced certifications like cissp and certified ethical hacker to deepen your knowledge follow industry news blogs and research to remain informed about emerging threats join ethical hacking communities attend conferences and engage in ongoing practice to hone your skills Remember continuous learning keeps you at the forefront of cyber security and ensures you are well prepared to protect digital assets and then there is the step 6 that is gain practical experience so gaining practical experience in ethical hacking is crucial for honing your skills participate in capture the flag competitions where you can solve real world challenges and learn to think like a hacker explore hands on labs and exercises that allow you to practice various hacking techniques in a controlled environment engage with ethical hacking communities share knowledge and collaborate on projects to build a strong practical foundation in cyber security and then comes the step 7 that is seek employment so to seek employment as a cyber security engineer craft a resume highlighting your skills certification and experience look for opportunities in industries such as finance healthcare and tech companies where cyber security is paramount network with professionals in the field explore job boards and leverage online platforms Cyber security engineers are in high demand so be proactive in your job search and showcase your commitment to safeguarding digital assets and then comes keep evolving so the world of cyber security is constantly changing to stay at the forefront always be curious embrace new technologies and adapt to emerging threats regularly update your skills earn advanced certifications and network with fellow hackers remember the cyber security landscape evolves and so should you Stay ethical, committed, and dedicated to safeguarding the digital realm.
and then comes the job roles and average salary. So the first job role is cybersecurity engineer. So the cybersecurity engineer in US earns as much as $156,000 per annum. And then comes in India that he earns around 8 lakhs per annum. And then the next job role is incident responder. So the incident responder earns around $105,000 per annum in US and 7 lakhs per annum in India. And then comes the cybersecurity analyst. So he earns around $150,000 per annum in US and in India he earns around 11 lakhs per annum. And then comes penetration tester. So penetration tester earns as much as $145,000 in US and 13 lakhs per annum in India. And then comes the cyber security consultant. So the cyber security consultant earns around $120,000 per annum in US and 10 lakhs per annum in India. Now we'll see the companies hiring cyber security engineers. So the first is Amazon, Accenture, Google, Apple and Intel. So these are the top most companies and there are way more companies that are hiring for the cyber security engineer roles. So with this we have come to the end of this session and there you have it folks. We hope you enjoyed this insightful tutorial. If you like this session then like share and subscribe. If you have any questions then you can drop them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.